Hello, my friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, I'm in California and it's such beautiful weather so I can sit outside. Even though when we landed yesterday, they said at LAX it was 72 degrees. But yesterday it went up to 90 degrees, but somehow there was a breeze this morning and it was really cold this morning. I had to wear a sweater as I spent time with the Lord. And something so interesting happened as I sat out here this morning, having devotion time with the Lord in the Word. I was looking at the mountains and it's so beautiful because everywhere you go in Pasadena, you see the mountains. And I am so excited to be here. Yes, visiting mom and my aunts and my family, my brothers and their families. But at the same time, as I was thanking the Lord for the mountains, I finished my devotion time and I said, oh, let me check Facebook and see what my friends are doing. And the first post that came up was Nina, a friend from Greece, who has become such a dear sister to me. And she and Lena, who's in Florida, I've never met them, but I have just become close friends with them. I said, wow, and she had posted this beautiful Greek islands where they are, and the waters were so beautiful. And I said, oh Lord, I wanna be there. And for a moment there, I was almost corrected by the Lord because I remembered the words of Paul the Apostle in Philippians 4, 11, and I'm gonna read this because I know we need to hear this, that Paul wrote, in whatsoever state I am, he said, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content because we are creatures of just wanting what we don't have whenever we're in situations. And the Lord says in everything, give thanks in everything, give thanks because he is with us. There was a verse in my mom and dad's room that I love reading. And it says, and the Lord stood by me and, and strengthened me. When the Lord is standing by us in any situation, every situation, he is right there speaking his word to us. We are encouraged by his word. And I remember being in Alaska a few years ago and just loving every moment of our cruise with Terry. And it was with my brother Danny and his wife. And I just treasured those moments. But when I was there every morning, about 5, 5.30, I would go out in the balcony and I would try to see where the ship was taking us for the day because everywhere you go in Alaska, it's beautiful. We have such a beautiful state of America that I just love, love. And one morning, I think it was Juno or somewhere that the ship had docked near a mountain. And as I came out, the first thing I saw was this huge mountain with graffiti on it and advertisements tacked on the whole mountain. And we were so close to it that I was like, wow, really? This is where he's brought to park our ship? And I looked down and I said, well, I can see the waters. I can look like that. But I started like complaining a little bit. And when I was doing that, I looked up and there on a tree was the most beautiful eagle I had ever seen so close up that it was almost like he was looking at me at my pitiful state that I am in, still in Alaska, still on the balcony, still having a wonderful time, but still complaining. And I learned a lesson that day, but I was reminded again this morning, Paul the apostle, knowing everything, he said, I have known want, I have known hunger, I have known to be full. I have learned all these things, but I have learned to be content. I have learned to be content. Lord, teach us to be content. And as I was in Psalms today, and I have loved to start counting how many times in Psalms I'm going to find the word Selah, which is stop and ponder. Because this morning, as I was reading in chapter 9 of six, um, Psalms and verse 16, it said, the Lord, know, the Lord is known by the judgments which he executed. We will know the Lord by his judgments. But then he says, the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. I love that. And they know that they that know thy name will put their trust in you, O Lord. Verse 10. But this part where the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. It said, Higayon, which meant 
musical instruments at this point, and then it said, Sela, stop and ponder. When I was thinking about that on Wednesday night with the women, we are in Acts chapter 10, and we were talking about how Peter was up on the rooftop spending time with the Lord while they were preparing food, and he was up there. All of a sudden, he saw all these wild animals that the Lord brought down on a big sheet. And it was like, really, he saw a vision. And the Lord said, get up and kill and eat, Peter. And he said, not so, Lord. I've never touched unclean animals. And the Lord said, Peter, don't call that which God has cleansed unclean or common. Don't do that. And then it says, as he was pondering, because this vision happened three times to him. And then it said, as he was thinking of these things, in Acts chapter 10, verses 19 and 20, I believe, it says, while Peter taught on the vision, the Spirit said unto him, Behold, Three men seek you because they had come from Cornelius. They were looking for Peter. But while he was still pondering what the Lord had spoken to him, what the Lord had shown him, that is when the Lord spoke to him again and said, Arise, go with them and doubt nothing, for I have sent them. Sometimes while we're pondering God's word, what he has spoken to us, this morning he spoke to me while I spent time in his word. While we are pondering, he speaks to us and gives us the direction we need because we are saying, Lord, show us what am I supposed to do? I have no idea. Today there's some things that are planned, but I don't know what this day holds, but I know the Lord is standing by me. And when I think of his word, day and night, Psalmist says in Psalm 1, I think of it day and night. When we think of his word, he speaks to us, he instructs us, he strengthens us, he stands by us and strengthens us, he encourages us, and he is the one that goes before us and makes the crooked places straight for us. The Lord bless you today.